Smith & Wesson, America's foremost revolver maker? Few would argue the long-running Massachusetts concern is definitely in the race for the title, producing some outright classics over the years. But the manufacturer has proven a nimble firearms company, turning out a slew of notable non-wheel guns that have more than earned a niche in the marketplace. Perhaps one of the most underrated is the M&P 15 line of AR-style rifles. And today we look into one of its latest, the slimmed down and dolled up Smith & Wesson's next-gen M&P 15 T2 improves on an already solid model. Over the years, the long guns have earned the reputation as being among the best entry-level options available, offering shooters a Spartan but a very reliable system. The M&P 15 Sport 2 is legendary in this regard. However, the company offers the entire gamut of AR-style rifles at nearly every price point and recently revamped its popular midline model. Meet the M&P 15 Tactical 2. Maintaining the same solid engineering as its predecessor, the M&P 15T, the new model, offers a few nice upgrades that most users should welcome. Among the most appreciated, a relatively sane price tag, with an MSRP of $1,400, the gun remains very competitive in its class, while bringing plenty to the table. The M&P 15T2 The M&P 15T2 rifle features a free-floating 16-inch barrel with 5R rifling and a twist rate of 1 to 8. The latter is the effective middle-of-the-road twist that allows a rifle to easily and accurately employ both heavier and light projectiles. The rifle is equipped with a mid-length gas system for reduced recoil and efficient cycling. The M&P 15 T2 features a forged, oversized trigger guard to provide maximum clearance when wearing gloves and comes standard with a Radian Raptor LT charging handle for ambidextrous manipulation of the handle. One of the really thoughtful features of the M&P 15 T2 are the four palm swells included with the rifle. These fit into the rear of the M&P pistol grip and can be swapped out to adjust the grip size to the shooter's hand. Slimmed Handguard So what do you get with the next-gen M&P 15 T2? Most obvious is an improved handguard system, much more in line with most shooters' expectations nowadays. Aside from boasting a full-length Picatinny rail, ample M-lock slot real estate for accessory attachment, and free-floating the barrel, it's whisper-thin. Not that the version of the old model was a bear, but the new 13-inch aluminum handguard should prove much better at facilitating a forward C-clamp style grip and trimming the gun's overall weight. Getting a grip Typically, talking pistol grips elicit yawns. However, Smith & Wesson has done something fairly intriguing in the area, incorporating a grip modeled after its M&P pistols. It's not only a flat-lined ringer with its fairly aggressive pebble texturing, but also that it includes four interchangeable palm swell inserts. Yeah, it's a bit gimmicky on the surface, but does potentially have some performance-enhancing capabilities. More so than just comfort, the inserts possibly could optimize finger position relative to the trigger, cutting down on placement time. Trigger Time To that end, Smith & Wesson has vastly improved on the M&P 15T2's trigger, outfitting the carbine with a flat face switch that has a fairly nice break. Certainly better than the typical mil-spec trigger, which can even be found in this class of gun. Ergonomically, the trigger finger is easier to situate on a flat shoe, but the design also tends to make the pull weight feel less than it is. Forward Assist We were also very glad to see that the M&P 15 T2 was manufactured with a forward assist. A good number of AR-15 makers have abandoned the forward assist, and no doubt these rifles are less expensive to make. However, we've found the forward assist a very needed feature for any AR platform rifle for the most basic of reasons. AR bolts do hang up from time to time, a dinged-up brass cartridge case can hold up the bolt, and dirt, grit, and moisture can and will work its way into the upper receiver. When the bolt only goes partway forward, it's the forward assist to the rescue. Speaking of dirt and grit, the M&P 15 T2 also sports a dust cover, another needed accessory for users whose rifles are rarely in gun safes. So how to attract and sell to those customers who may be looking for a higher quality AR-15? The biggest thing everyone loves about the new M&P 15T, straight from the get-go, is the new pistol grip design, said Jared McDevitt, Smith & Wesson's channel marketing manager for firearm distributor and the dealer network. Stress that feature. Partner the grip design with a really nice and slim M-lock handguard, a mid-length and softer recoiling gas system, and a Raptor charging handle, and your customers can have a high-class shooter right out of the box. As McDevitt noted, the replaceable palm swell should be a major selling point. The M&P 15 T2 comes with four different sized palm swells, and they are easily switched out by use of the included takedown tool. This way, a user with larger hands can have the rifle set up for them, and within a minute the grips can be switched out to accommodate another user with smaller hands who might not be able to get a firm hold on the rifle otherwise. The AR's Odds and Ends 
As to other notable upgrades, the rifle boasts a Magpul CTR stock, rubber buffers in the lower for a tighter fit and less rattle, front and rear Magpul M-Bus flip-up sights, and Radian Raptor LT charging handle. Smith & Wesson has made all of the M&P 15T2's controls ambidextrous, save the mag release, which not only makes it lefty-friendly, it also improves its handling for shooting weak side, a skill many shooters have recognized the importance of in recent times. Finally, and common in s and rifles, the gun has 5R rifling, which theoretically reduces bullet deformation and makes the bore easier to clean. In the test field, we received a new-in-the-box M&P 15T2, and after several range sessions and over 250 rounds shot, we found it was a very accurate rifle. It functioned smoothly without a single malfunction. It was a real pleasure to shoot, in large part due to the previously listed features, and it will check the boxes for the customers who want an AR platform rifle for home defense, competitive and target shooting, and general plinking. No doubt law enforcement personnel will also have an interest in the M&P 15T2 given the rifle's accuracy and reliability. Our M&P 15T2 arrived with Magpul M-Bus sights installed. When not in use, the sights can lay against the rifle and out of the way. They popped up nicely, presented a good sight picture at our range, and were easily adjusted to a bullseye at 50 yards. But to really find out the accuracy potential, we needed an optic, so we mounted a Tricon Credo HX 2.5 15x42 rifle scope onto the rifle. We had used this particular Credo HX many times before and knew it was quality glass. A second focal plane optic, the Credo HX featured a rugged 30mm main tube, precise quarter MOA controls, and a red illuminated reticle, and it possessed very good low-light capabilities. We first zeroed the rifle and optic at 50 yards and then proceeded to find out what the rifle could do at 100 yards, shooting from a sandbagged rest. We used a number of brands of 556mm and 223 Remington ammunition in our accuracy and function testing. The M&P 15T2 proved to be a very accurate AR-15, with groups of between 1.25 and 1.5 inches very easy to achieve. As the barrel got broken in and we became more used to the rifle, groups shrunk. Our best was a 0.85-inch group of five shots with the Hornady V-Max, while the Spear Gold Dot pegged two one-inch groups. The trigger pull on the M&P 15T2 measured at an average of three pounds, two ounces, according to our Lyman electronic trigger pull gauge. The measurement, it should be noted, was at the end of our shooting. Initially, the rifle's trigger was stiff, stiff enough to help the shooter pull a shot. The trigger did loosen up as more rounds were put through the rifle. But even then, there was a noticeable bit of take-up in the trigger. With the mid-length gas tube operation, the M&P 15T2's recoil was reduced to a quick rearward pulse. The ambidextrous fire control worked smoothly from either side. The Radian Raptor LT charging handle was a real plus too. It was nearly effortless to pull back and was easy to access even with the scope in place. The rifle sports very ample rail space, while the M-Lock attachment points on the handguard will make adding accessories a snap. Parting Shot The M&P 15T was a popular AR option, if for other reason than the bang shooters got for their buck. Smith & Wesson doesn't appear to have mucked up this winning formula with the M&P 15T2. Improved for modern users' tastes, the rifle maintains its two most important assets, relative affordability and effectiveness. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.